levels of nested RAID, also known as hybrid RAID, combine two or more of the standard levels of RAID to gain performance, additional redundancy, or both. RAID 0 plus 1 RAID 0 plus 1 is a RAID level used for both replicating and sharing data among disks. Reader 0 plus 1 is a mirror of stripes. The usable capacity of a Reader 0 plus 1 array is the same as a Reader 1 array, where half of the total capacity is used to mirror the other half, where is the total number of drives and is the capacity of the smallest drive in the array. RAID 1 plus 0 Reader 1 plus 0, sometimes called Reader 1 and 0 or Reader 10, is similar to a Reader 0 plus 1 with exception that the RAID levels used are Reva CDA Euro Reader 10 as a stripe of mirrors. Reader 10, as recognized by the Storage Industry Association and as generally implemented by RAID controllers, is a Reader 0 array of mirrors, which may be two-way or three-way mirrors, and requires a minimum of four drives. However, a non-standard definition of Reader 10 was created for the Linux MD driver. Linux Reader 10 can be implemented with as few as two disks. Implementations supporting two disks such as Linux Reader 10 offer a choice of layouts. Examples More typically, larger arrays of disks are combined for professional applications. In high-end configurations, enterprise storage experts expected PCIe and SAS storage to dominate and eventually replace interfaces designed for spinning metal and for these interfaces to become further integrated with Ethernet and network storage suggesting that rarely accessed data stripes would often be located over networks and that very large arrays using protocols like ISTC would become more common. Pictured as an example where three collections of 120 GB level 1 arrays are striped together to make 360 GB of total storage space. Performance, according to manufacturer specifications and official independent benchmarks, in most cases Reader 10 provides better throughput and latency than all other RAID levels except Reader 0. It is the preferable RAID level for I.O. intensive applications such as database, email, and web servers as well as for any other use requiring high disk performance. Implementation The Linux kernel's Reader 10 implementation performs mirroring and striping at the same time, providing various layouts. Only some of the available layouts are functioning as standard Reader 10. RAID 100 RAID 100, sometimes also called Reader 10 plus 0, is a stripe of RAID 10s. This is logically equivalent to a wider RAID 10 array but is generally implemented using software RAID 0 over hardware RAID 10. Being striped two ways, RAID 100 is described as a play of RAID. RAID 50 RAID 50 combines the straight block level striping of Reader 0 with the distributed parity of Reader 5. This is a Reader 0 array striped across Reader 5 elements. It requires at least six drives. On the left is an example where three collections of 120 GB Reader 5s are striped together to make 720 GB of total storage space, one drive from each of the Reader 5 sets could fail without loss of data. However, if the failed drive is not replaced, the remaining drives in that set then become a single point of failure for the entire array. If one of those drives fails, all data stored in the entire array is lost. The time spent in recovery represents a period of vulnerability to the RAID set. In the example below, data sets may be striped across both RAID sets. A data set with five blocks would have three blocks written to the first RAID set, and the next two blocks written to RAID set 2. The configuration of the RAID sets will impact the overall fault tolerance. A construction of three seven-drive reader five sets has higher capacity and storage efficiency but can only tolerate three maximum potential drive failures. Because the reliability of the system depends on quick replacement of the bad drive so the array can rebuild, it is common to construct three six-drive reader five sets each with a hot spare that can immediately start rebuilding the array on failure. This does not address the issue that the array is put under maximum strain reading every bit to rebuild the array precisely at the time when it is most vulnerable. A construction of seven three-drive Reader 5 sets can handle up to seven drive failures, if they are in different Reader 5 sets, but has lower capacity and storage efficiency. RAID 50 improves upon the performance of Reader 5 particularly during writes, 
and provides better fall tolerance than a single rate level does. This level is recommended for applications that require high fault tolerance, capacity and random positioning performance. As the number of drives in a RAID set increases, and the capacity of the drives increase, this impacts the fault recovery time correspondingly as the interval for rebuilding the RAID set increases. RAID 53 RAID 53 is typically used as a name for RAID 30 or 0 plus 3. RAID 60 Reader 60 combines the straight block level striping of Reader 0 with the distributed double parity of Reader 6. That is, a Reader 0 array striped across Reader 6 elements. It requires at least 8 disks. See also, non-RAID drive architectures, non-standard RAID levels, standard RAID levels, references.